Here we are in Photoshop. What we want to be doing is making an um, outline of text or outline of a picture and also how to make a drop shadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text on here. I'm going to change it to a different color. And we have our text. Next thing we have to do is we have to outline it. We have to get to make an outline, we have to make a selection of it. So whatever we want outlined, we want a selection done. So if I hold down the Apple key and I click not on this part of the layer, but on this T on the preview part of the layer, it makes a selection around the entire layer. Next thing I have to do is make a new layer for my outline. Okay, so I created a new layer on top of it. Edit, stroke, outline selection. This is where I can pick my width. I'm going to try out nine pixels to start out with. I'm going to pick a complementary color to red. Nice dark green. I want to go to the outside here, so it goes outside of my selection, not inside. And I'm going to hit OK. See what it looks like. There, it gave a nice outline. If it doesn't give you the outline you want, just hit undo and outline it again. Okay? Select, deselect. What I want to do now is I want to link these two layers together. So if I hold down the shift key and I select on both of the layers, it links them together. Now if I do a move, I can move them and they move both layers at the same time. Okay? So we got our outline done. Next we're going to do our drop shadow. So I'm going to do the same thing. I need to make a selection around the outline and the letters. So I'm going to hold down the command key and select the letters first. Hold down the shift and your little cursor should turn to a little plus mark and I'm going to select the outline layer as well. So you can see how it went from, I'll do that one more time, hold down the command key, select the letters, you can see it didn't select the outline yet, hold down shift and click on the outline and it's got it all selected. Okay. Next thing is I have to turn it black, so I'm going to do a default colors here. I'm going to create a new layer again to make the drop shadow on and paint bucket it black. Okay, it just covered up everything. It didn't lose everything because we're doing the layers yet behind. Select, deselect to get rid of the selection. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We can see it start to kind of fade out. You want to adjust this until you want to still see some definition but you don't want the definition to be real um, real defined. So you don't want real hard crisp edges you just want some definition in there yet. I would say that looks like a pretty good shadow. So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to move now the layer So we moved it so it's offset down to the right and down a little bit. And I can slip it behind. Now you can see we have a drop shadow behind our outlined letters. It's the same steps to do a picture. You would do a selection. You'd hold down the Apple key, click on the layer that's got your picture. So we can outline our layer here. And that is how we end up doing an outline and a drop shadow.